Hey YouTube land, welcome to my channel here on, well, YouTube land. Today we're going to take a look at the CSJ X7 um, Beast. They don't put the Beast on here. You know there's another version of this that actually has the Beast written right here. And the other version also does a lot of branding on the arms. You can see the name of the drone right here. But uh, this one's just all plain white. And it is essentially the Beast. Same specs, same everything. I don't know if it's more expensive or less expensive since it doesn't have all the branding but uh, you'll have to check that out so this is probably in my opinion going to be one of the more popular drones of the year 2019 because it's not super expensive and it has a lot of really good features so let me start off I'll, I can't go through all of them but I'll try to do this really quick it's got a cool battery in the back that shows you how much power is left and you'll get about 25 minutes of flight time so in reality you're probably getting about 20 to 23 minutes of normal flight it's foldable, it has brushless motor, so they're very powerful. It almost unfolds like an Evo in many ways. Um, they say it has a 4K camera, that's what they advertise it as, but it's not 4K. Trust me, for the price, that is not 4K. It is a, uh, I tried it in the house really quick to see what the image looked like. It looks more like, well, it, it says when you record video, you'll get 2K quality. But that's 2K if you take the stabilization off. So stabilization off is bouncing all over the place. There's, type, there's a type of electronic image stabilization in here. You'll see it. So you should get okay 1080p video, probably less okay 2K video. Just depends how windy it is and how you fly. Uh, it also takes pictures. They say it takes 12 megapixel pictures, but I don't think that's correct. The pictures are pretty good. They're not out of this world, but they're pretty good for a drone in this price range. What else does it have? It has every feature imaginable. So, you know, like the follow me, the tracking, the orbit. I can't go through all of them today, um, but you've seen them on all types of drones. I'll try to do as many as I can and uh, just go out and fly this. What else does it have? Oh, this here camera comes off. You can take it off. So if you damage your drone, you just ask for another camera. And uh, I don't know how expensive the camera module is, but you can get another camera module because I already have a drone from another company that actually broke and they're sending me another module so I can fly that one. And the remote they give you with it is pretty decent because look at this, you have the display. You know, like if you ever buy MJXRC drones, they have that nice display at the bottom. It's an identical display. So it shows you how many satellites you have uh, and it shows you your distance, your range, your receiver, your battery levels, all the good stuff. And it's one of those uh, type of controllers that I can flick it out like this. And like this and there we go i can put my phone right here and this here all stretches out there is a camera on the bottom it's got an optical flow camera on the bottom so it's really cool it has two modes on here on the controller so if you're flying it in the house and you power it up and you get it ready to go it actually knows it's in the house because it can't get a gps signal if it can't get a gps signal it goes into mode one and it flies with this camera on the bottom and it stays very 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 still in the air it's really good it's actually amazingly good uh, I was super impressed and if uh, I'm just gonna turn this off and if you're outside if you turn this on and it knows all of a sudden you're outside because it's getting the GPS signal it goes into mode 2 and it will fly in GPS mode and it's once again really really stable at least uh, that's what I've seen in the past so I'm gonna take this first spin now and we'll check it out all right you can see it's kind of a dull day today look at this so I don't know how well the camera on this here drone is gonna work you know Normally on a sunny, bright day, these cameras are designed more for that. But this is a dull overcast day, so you're going to get dull overcast video. All right, so we have a drone here. First thing we do is power it on. Should hear some sounds as we see the pretty blue light start up. There we go. And we're pretty much all set. Fire up the controller. Here is our satellites. It's got to start getting satellites right now. It should be at zero, and then it's going to move up. And you'll see we're going into mode one because it thinks we're indoors. There's not enough satellites yet. One. Two, two, three. So I've done the calibration, the compass calibration, and she's pretty much all set to go. So you just pull these in like this and uh, fly it straight up. And it should sit in the air nicely. There you go. It's a really good drone for uh, flying in the wind or for flying outside. The white is interesting. It reminds me of like a DJI drone. Here, just spin it around so you can see it. I can see me on the screen. You probably want to see what the camera looks like. Now, if I haven't already mentioned it, which I don't believe I have, the problem with this drone, it's not really a problem, but it's a silly feature, is they did not add a micro SD card slot into the drone. So I cannot put a micro SD card in there to record the video. I have to stream the video 
all the way to my phone and record it on my phone through the app. I don't really care for that. I prefer a micro SD in the drone, but the drone is so good. I'm hoping the video signal that you're seeing looks really good. Let's take it up. Here's the drone and here's the speeds. I'm in slow speed, full forward. There we go. Bring it back with one hand, one finger coming back. And let's bring it close to me. There we go. And now let's put it in the fast speed. Hit this. Two beeps. And here we go. Full blast. Fast speed. It's pretty good. It doesn't drop or anything on altitude. And then bring it back to me. Okay, let's do some of the features on here. First one I'm going to do is the Orbit Me. So I'll click on Orbit Me. See if it works. It's giving me two options. And I don't really under... Oh my God. The text is so small I can't even see it. It says use blah, blah, blah. And I guess I'm just going to hit send to the drone and there it goes whatever i sent to the drone it's going to do i have no idea what i just sent to it spinning around and it's flying over there and now what's it going to do sitting there it's got to turn around there we go turn around i'm not doing anything and it should orbit there's the orbit me and i'm not in the center let me get over in the center orbit me going around Am I even in the picture? Oh, it's getting close to me. There we go. I'll turn that off. Next option in here is right up on the top right. It looks like all the tracking and everything. So let's try that. GPS follow me? I think this is a GPS follow me. It's going back by itself. Uh, what's it doing? It's going back there. Oh, I guess it wants to stay at a certain limit. And uh, let's see. Let's move. Is it going to follow me? Yep, it's coming. So it goes back there. I don't know if the camera has me in the image. Let me just bring that, bring it up higher so I'm in the image. And uh, here I am. Let me run. I'm running. Hopefully it's following me. Yeah, and I'm going in a circle. I'm going this way. Is it coming? Yeah, it works. So the follow me works nice. Hopefully it's a smooth follow me. A lot of these drones won't have smooth. I'm going to run at it, see what happens. Do I confuse it? It's going backwards. It's going backwards. I'm probably not in the picture. There is a, I can move the camera. I forgot to show you that. So let's see if I want to move the camera up and down. There's two buttons in the back here, right here. Let's see. They'll make those utterly annoying beeping sounds. There we go. Oop, that's the camera up. If you're looking at the video, there's the camera down. I'm going to get close. I'll see if you can see the camera move down. Watch the camera. See the camera right here? Watch the camera go down. Coming down, coming down, coming down, and now it's looking down at me. Now it does have two other modes, and it says uh, you can do a tracking and you can do a gesture mode, but it says it won't work if I have the anti-shake mode on, which I do have on. That's why I'm in standard definition, SD. So I'm going to go into waypoint mode. You can see it on my little GoPro, I think. Let me go like this so you can see it. And this is what happens like that. The top one is, I think the bottom one's waypoints. Let's see. There we go. I get a big blank like that. Here should be a map. Let me see if I can zoom in or out. No, nothing there. So to take off the stabilization, I don't know if you can see it here, you hit this button and then you go into something down here called settings. And then right here it says stabilization. I don't know if that shows up on my GoPro. Uh, I'll just hit off. And then when I hit off, now I'm gonna go into high definition. And now I'm back, I go back, start play. Up in the top right, you see it says SD. I'm gonna tap on that now. And am I in? There we go, HD. Now I'm in HD mode. Now I'm gonna put the record on right here. Should be recording. So now I have no stabilization. I'm gonna take it backwards. Tell me what it looks like. Probably looks okay. Let me come forward. I'll just bring it up a bit so you get me in. It's coming super fast. And there I am. So that's your high definition uh, video on this thing. Return to home. Should come back and let's see what it does. Way up in the sky up there, spinning around, and it's coming down. Now, I do not believe it's coming down at exactly, precisely where it took off from, because as I move my head down, watch this, as I get closer to the drone, <laughs> I'm going to look down on the ground, and there's my takeoff pad, and this is where it's landing. It's not exactly accurate, and it should turn off by itself. And uh, there we go.
So here's the battery for this drone, and here's the battery for the other drone that's identical to it, the Beast. This one's not full, like I have a little bit of power left over, so I'm going to stick it in this here drone. Fits perfectly, let's power it on. Now one thing I like about this drone is it's long flight times, and it's very fast. I've got it in the fast speed now, but I just like drones like this that you can just whiz around the ground. Look at me, I'm just whizzing this thing around. It flies really well. It does not fly like a toy drone, that's for sure. You would think this was like a DJI product or something. It's, uh, it's pretty decent. That's why I say this thing's going to sell an awful lot. Now, it does have gesture modes, you know, where you put your hand up and you can move the drone, but those are quirky. It also does have tracking where you draw a box around yourself, but that's more for when it's in mode one and when it doesn't use GPS, because when it uses GPS, it wants to track you with the GPS. There is no obstacle avoidance, so do not ra run this into your head. <laughs> and let me put the speed down here. Oh, that says I was in the slow speed, and look, that's how fast I went. Holy crap, I've got it in fast speed now. I was whipping that thing. This thing is way too fast for a drone that's sold at the price range it is. It's like, uh, it's just whipping by. You can, with no obstacle avoidance, if you're not paying attention, you can ram this into yourself. I'm in slow speed now. All right. For me, it's, it's an easy drone for me to fly, because I'm so used to drones. Like, if you're brand new at flying drones, do not fly this drone like I am. Like, I'm kind of a maniac out here. If I go like this. Uh, so I just turned it off. Yeah, you can land it in your hand. All right, so that was my review of this here drone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check it out, it's not very expensive. Yes, I have the black battery in, which looks pretty cool. If you want to check it out, I'm going to put links below. And uh, check it out. See if it's a drone for you. And see if the camera works for you. I know somebody's going to say, hey, you didn't take a photo, so I better do that now. Hang on, guys. And now a quick unboxing of the X7. When I open this up, you will see all the features of the X7 right here. You can stop the video to check those out and watch this. And if I flip the box this way without the contents falling out, you can see the X7 is here again. And again, features are listed down here. With the box open, we see we have the X7 right here and we have the controller. Here I have the drone right here and you can see that the drone is like a Star Wars vehicle. It's extremely bright white. And uh, how about I take off the plastic? There's some plastic on the top and I'll unfold it and we'll take a close look at it. The drone unfolds like this, forward arm goes forward and backward arm goes to the rear. And then you're left with this quite large drone. So let's take a really close look at it. Going up to the top, we see on the surface, nothing here, just a little bit of branding at the back. And then when I go to the side, nothing on this side. The back way of the battery, we'll get that in a second. And on this side, nothing here. And on the front, you have the camera. A little bit of plastic over the lens, remove that. Now, there is another drone on the market just like this, and it's called the Beast. And just like the Beast, this one does not have any location near the camera to place a micro SD card to record the high quality video. So this is a 4K camera, but you can't record it to a micro SD. It will be streamed over the air to your phone. So for that reason, to receive the stream video, you need a cell phone or a tablet that has the Wi-Fi protocol 802.11 AC. Looking at the camera module, you can see there's an optical flow camera pointing down. The forward camera can electronically be moved down and up. If you should damage your camera in any way, you can just replace it by getting another camera because it slides right out. This one's brand new, so it's in there quite tight. There we go, I got it out. And you can see on the camera module itself, there is no location anywhere to place a micro SD card. These two antennas here are to stream the video to your phone. And back here, you have the antenna right here, which receives the signal from your controller so that it can fly up, down, all the other good things. It does look really good in white with the silver accent, and it also has very nice metal brushless motors and foldable props. Let's take a look at the battery in the back. If I press this once, it will tell me how much power is remaining, and it is fully charged. Pull the battery out and we can see on top that it does indicate exactly that it is a 7.4 volt at 2800 milliamps so it's a two cell battery and now taking a quick look at the controller you can see it has a pretty interesting design your cell phone goes back here you flip these out like this your antennas you flip this way these antennas i believe are for show because look you can see right through them there's no wire anywhere right here so uh if you power it on you'll get a nice little blue display down here and this gives all your telemetry your satellites your distance your height and your signal from the drone as well as your transmission signal to the drone uh joysticks pretty decent 
You have four buttons on the front. They're all nicely labeled. Oh, actually a fifth button here for your power. And then right back here, if the lighting gets it, you have two buttons here and two buttons there. And you'll require four AA batteries to power this. Also included in the box are four spare props. One USB battery charging cable, instructions for the app, and instructions for the drone. Finally, one mini Phillips screwdriver. All right, the battery's in the drone, drone's powered on. Nice, pretty lights. And we're gonna do a quick uh, weight test. Let's just check it out. And it weighs 541 grams total. All right, I'm gonna do the picture thing really quick. So I'm just gonna take off and go straight up. Nice and smooth. And let's bring it above me. There I am. Okay, I'm gonna hit the photo, which is camera right here. Tell me how the picture looks. All right, I'm just shutting this down. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Once again, I'll put links below to where you can buy this. It's not very expensive. It's probably gonna be one of the most popular drones of the year 2019. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, I'm hitting all the buttons here. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video with more reviews. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll try to answer your questions about this drone.